And we're back as a matter of fact, rat -a tat tat So Andrew Tate, when he, in the era of Andrew Tate, when he was going viral and everybody had him on his platform, I personally never sat down to listen to anything he had to say, nothing against him, nothing like that. I just never had the, found the time. And I really didn't want to base my opinion based on what other people had to say. That's not how I roll. That's not how I rock. I'd rather hear and base my own opinion on him by what he has to say out of his mouth. Anyways, so I still don't know much about him. However, I mean, I know that the guy is trending, right? So anyhow, I so happened to come across a video that is titled, Andrew Tate explains the chip he explains to Chip why he believes in God, the fellas podcast. I've never heard of these guys. All I know is that Andrew Tate's on there. Now I'm going to react. I have not watched this video. This is him, I guess, essentially speaking about God. So sit back, relax, and listen to the story. It's 11 minutes and 35 seconds. You got the time, I got the time. Let's do this, shall we? I'm an atheist because um, there's no way I can look back 2,000 years and read a book and go, oh, well, that's the way I should live. It's like the way you think of life, where you say that governments rule over everything that you do. I believe the same thing with a book. You look at a book and go, that's the fucking facts right there. How are you going to let a book rule what you say? That's nuts to me. Right. It's actually insane. It's actually mad because 2,000 years ago, no. Religion in and of itself is separate to God. However, religion in and of itself, do you believe that religion in and of itself is a force for good? Do you believe that religion- I, d I actually do because my family, is, so I've got a family that's half Christian, half Muslim, and I respect all, the way they live is a lot better than the way I know most of my friends live. Okay, correct. So let me ask you another question. If a hundred people believe in a God and the God they believe in makes them act like better people, and they're better for the world. Yeah. Do you believe that their belief in God in and of itself makes God real? Yes, it does, but they no. believe in it a lie. No. no, no, no. It doesn't mean that God is real. They just believe the lie is making them act better. If God yeah. wants people to act in a righteous way and people believe in God and that makes them act righteously, then I respect that. Does that make God exist? No, 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 no. In some form, even not even as, in, even not for as me, not in any form, even as an idea, as an idea, as an do idea, you believe, yes. do you believe the idea of God makes people act more righteously? Yes, yes, yes absolutely. Yes. Okay. So yes. do you believe that God as a whole, even as an idea, him existing, even as an idea brings out the righteousness in sure. Yeah, it does. Sure. It actually brings out but, bad but people. Like yourself, I think, I think you love God. I, 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 I think the argument more is like whether that, you know, they're, you they're, they're living. It, they're, they're, no, this, they're, 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 yeah, they, they believe that this is a, is a real thing and that's why they're doing it versus looking at themselves and going, I actually don't mind whether this is an idea or this is real or not. This is making me a better person. And if people came out and said that, I think I'd be a lot more understanding. What, yeah. what is real? If an idea makes someone act righteously, is that not real? Is the righteousness in and no, of itself an not Andrew, real? You strike me as a man that would not want to be, not want the wool pulled over his eyes. I'm not having the wool pulled over my eyes. Yeah. And I understand everything you're saying about the book. Yeah. I understand it all. I understand all your points. Trust me very yeah. well. My question is, you say about real. You're talking about real. Yeah. I'm saying if somebody believes in God and they act righteously, is that righteousness real? The, the, well, the way that yeah. the way that acts no, no, is real. No. Yeah, yeah. The okay, so the righteousness is real. Is real. Yeah. yeah. And why are they acting righteously? Because of God, correct? Well, because, because they of their belief in God. No, because of their belief in God. Yeah. Okay, so they believe in God. Is their belief in God real? Yes. Their Absolutely. Belief is of course, real. Yeah. you can't deny it. So is God real? No. No. Yes, he is. No, he, no, no. You, you can believe in something. Andrew, I, I, listen, me and you, we're brothers. Me, you, Tristan, Luke, we're a family. But you will never be able to convince me that God is real. And that, listen, I've got the utmost respect for you. The I reason understand. you're on this podcast is I because I respect you but highly and you're a great man. But where does it... But I, there is me, nothing you can say okay, to me. Okay, then let me try something else. Let me ask you from a different angle. Come on, my, a different angle. My, Give, my, me Give me some My more. point is very simple. My point is, if you take X amount of people yeah. and they believe in God yeah. and they act righteously yeah. and they add good to the world mm -hmm. because um, of their belief in yeah. God, and yeah. that makes God on some level, even only as an idea, he is a real thing. Because ideas are real things. This, yeah, and that yeah. makes... You now, know what? No, no, I got, I mean, I've got you. Ideas are real about. things. And let me, ask, let me ask another question then. Let me change it to another angle. 
Do you believe that some of the things happening in the world today, whether it's Epstein's Island, whether it's COVID insanity, whether it's propagation of pedophilia, whatever, do you agree that there are some things in the world today which are the act of the devil? Do you no. believe that Satan, do you believe that people who believe in evil, do you believe that perversion, do you believe that genuine evil exists on the planet? There so is, there my, is. My, 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 my question at this point, no though, evil. is, is uh, so are we saying that anytime something bad happens in the world, are we just going to say the devil, uh, this is the devil's no, work? No, no. So, so if, if it was God being the, the almighty being, correct. Um, surely he has a say in all this. I understand your point. So let me, let me ask it another way. Do you believe there is a force per, for perversion which is enacting its will upon the world today? No. You so don't believe there's a force for every evil? Every single thing that uh, we do and act and everything, every single I thing. I think it's that, nature. There, there's no evil. There is no evil. There is no good. Tomorrow, Andrew, you could wake up and you could get hit by a bus. It's over. Whatever that you lived is done. It's not that you're good or bad. I understand your I point live a view. life where everything kind of just is I energy. understand. I understand. I understand because you could possibly wake up and your reality is not what it used to be whether that be hit like his example hit by a bus or whatever it is that does not take away from the fact that god is real in my opinion that doesn't mean it's yours you can't sum god up by you didn't save me you didn't help me so therefore you can't be real i i mean i don't think i don't think that that's fair there's too much ancient information there is too much ancient artifacts and there's too much to this earth that shows that there is a higher power or something bigger than us right down to our thumbprint right down to how we were created who was the first right down to a plant right down to the cycle of life uh, there is something way bigger, grander than us to just because your situation, your reality changes from one day to a next does not remove the idea of God. It, if anything, reinstates it. Life is inconsistent. That does not mean God is not real. Anyways, whatever. Let's get back. I'm sorry. I believe there is a force for evil. I okay. believe there's a force for perversion. Okay. I believe there are people out there which are trying to spread evil ideas. I believe there are propagandists which are trying to... Sorry to interrupt again. I know we're watching this together. One of my pet peeves is that it is so easy for people to believe in the devil more than god it is so easy to say that there's evil in the world it is so easy to say that um bad people exist um there's bad people grouped together whether that be friggin the masons or whoever watch whatever it is so easy to say that there's a secret society out there that works together and they collectively want to do evil in the world it's so easy to believe the acts of the devil it is so hard for people to believe the good in the world and that god exists we naturally give satan way more power way more recognition we understand the ways of the devil way more than we understand the ways of god People will talk you to the ground into telling you how, why, and when the devil appears in our lives, in our friends, in our families. Don't talk to them. Negative energy, toxic energy. This is how you clear away negative energy. This is what to do in your house to clear away negative energy. You don't really hear people say, God exists here. This is how to keep God in your home. No, they'll talk about how to remove an evil spirit before they speak about God in your heart, in your life, in your in your job, in your space, in your family, in your friends. It's so much easier to say, "Badman never prospa." You know what I mean? Um, there's there's evil in my fam my family, toxic. You know you know what I mean? Do you get what I'm 
sorry, I'm sorry, let's go. I believe that a lot of the mainstream ideas and thoughts and considerations are deliberately perverse. And once you understand that there is a force for evil, then you must understand there's a force for good and that force for good. Uh, okay, actually, uh, you're thinking of God as a book. No, no. I'm, okay. I then, I th I th my idea of God is um, the energy of the universe. Okay, so I'm thinking so of God. I'm thinking of God as a force for good. If you believe that there's an evil force which is doing this on purpose, then you would have to believe there's a positive force. And that positive force is God. Even if you don't believe in God, men who stand up and say no in and amongst themselves under the name of God makes God a real thing. Yeah. I'll give you another example. I go to churches in Romania that are 5,000 years old. If you go to a building that is 5,000 years old and for 5,000 years people have gone there and thought positive thoughts and prayed to an imaginary man called God under the name of positivity, do you believe that that makes God in and of itself? I gotta stop that. Woo, isn't this good? Oh, this is juicy. It is so true. I have been to many churches. I have been into cathedrals. I find it, I've been in mosques. I find it so interesting. I've been in Hindu temples. I just remembered I went to China. I've been in a Buddhist temple. I think it's so interesting how depending on how the church is ran, who the leadership is, you can really enter in and feel as though you've entered in a holy place, whether or not you believe in that person or that culture's belief system. When I went to China and I was in the Buddhist temple, the incense was like, I have to find a picture. It was this huge thing, like it was as big as me. The monks were walking around and they were um, chanting or, or I don't know what the proper word is. It felt holy. It felt like I was in a, I was in a place where I needed to respect. It felt that way. But I can also say, not to knock churches because I've been in great churches too, but I've been in Christian churches where it doesn't feel holy. I can eat gum, I'm walking around. It doesn't feel like, you know, the church wants you to feel like you're in the sanctuary, like remove your feet, or sorry, remove your shoes at the door. You know, this is holy ground. And they said the Holy Spirit is here, but you don't feel nothing. What you feel is tiredness. You feel like you want to go to sleep. You ever be up in church, you're like, <clears throat> like you feel that, you know what I mean? You feel like sluggish almost. Um, so again, that was just an example of church. I'm not saying all churches are like that or whatever, but that is a very real thing. I've been in a Hindu um, space and it felt like a little chaotic. I felt like everybody was kind of everywhere and it's just people walking around, they're not really greeting you or whatever. But then at the same time, I've been in a mosque and I felt like I should be here. You know what I mean? It didn't feel holy, it just felt like I should be here. So, you know, you get different feel. What are, You get what I'm saying? Let's get. Under that, in that particular building, in and of itself, a real thing. When people go there and only positively think of one no, thing in I and of itself. Yeah, potentially because... Does I, that make the idea real? No. So, can I ask you no. something? Because, can I because ask you I need, I need to, I need to, I need to see, like, genuine... I, I no, think for me, it, I look at it a, a lot more from, like, a, almost a scientific point of view in the sense that I need agreed. to see... I understand. Is my idea stuff. of God real? Because my idea of God, because I know, listen, when you've got on this planet and everyone thinks of God, Allah, everything, yeah. Yeah. come from multiple yeah. different backgrounds, and I know what I think. But my idea of God is it's not the same thing. Yeah. It's the it's it's a energy. universal thing. I understand. It's an energy thing and I it's understand. like um anything good that you do will maybe come back. No, and that's I just the energy that the universe. Let me ask out. another okay, let me ask another is question. Is that wrong or right? No, 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 no. I, I understand your point of view. I want you to just well, as I carry on, I want you to both know that I was an atheist and I understand yeah. your points of view very, very well. So you were like me. Very well. At one point. Yeah, at one point. Let me ask you another question. In your mind, purely in your mind. What is the difference between a dream and a memory? A, me a memory is, is something that I've experienced and I've been through and that I can 
I, I, I can completely remember you because have I was sen- there at you the have time. like senses attached to it. You have senses it be attached smells, to a memory, yeah. but you don't have a dream. But you yeah. don't with the dream. No, no, no. Yeah, a, dr- yeah. a dream is f- correct. Yeah. Understood. You don't want. I want to answer. Understood. That but I'm yeah, saying yeah. if you remove the senses element, if you're sitting here and you're trying to remember a dream or you're trying to remember something that actually happened, what's the genuine difference? Well, one that I lived through it, and the other one I haven't. Lived no, through you it. know that. I'm not. I'm not asking that. I'm saying in your mind, in and yeah. of itself, remember a dream mm-hmm. and remember a real event. Do yep. you remember them any differently? What? Not really. No, no I, I can't not remember. Not really. Is, not no, really no, is the true answer. No, not really. I not can't. really is the true answer. I no. understand. I, I mean, understand. The same if you're, no, no, no. If you're, if cerebral, you can sit there and go, okay, that happened. That didn't happen. That's memory, cere- I'm not me- saying that. Say I'm saying remember it and try and experience it in your mind, and okay. you will soon learn that Doing it's only the idea of things that make them real. Let me tell you something. That let me tell you something that you will not okay. believe. I'll tell you something that you will not believe. Yeah. People often ask me, especially when I put up a picture on Instagram, how I'm in such good shape. Say, so how are you in such good shape when all you do is travel the world and drink alcohol and smoke cigars? The you idea barely go to the gym. And I say that I train in my sleep and they call me crazy. Because I can lucidly dream, because I can control my dreams, which is another podcast in and of itself. I train in my dreams. I convince my mind that I've trained. I convince my mind that I need to be ready for war. And my body reacts accordingly. It is the ideas that are real. What do they say in the Matrix? The body cannot exist without the mind. It's the ideas that are real. An idea in and of itself is real enough. If you remember a dream the same way you remember a real event, they are basically the same. My body proves that because I do most of my training as I fucking sleep. If I believe in the idea of God, if millions of people believe in the idea of God, if millions of people do good things under the name of God, the same God, and they believe in him, and they pray to him and they worship him, even if he's not a real person, as an idea in and of itself, it exists. And that idea which exists makes people act in the way in which God would want them to act, which makes God real. He may only be real as an idea, but that's real enough. But I, you must understand, you're thinking of it as God as a person. You're thinking of yeah, it as I get the book. What you're you must think of it yeah. as an idea in and of itself. If the idea of God is, adher- is adhered to, and that makes society act underneath God's will, then he is real. If the idea of evil is real, if the idea of perversion is real, then the opposite force must be real. This is Newton's second law. There must be an equal and opposite force. If there are people out there trying to do evil, there are people out there trying to do good. And when you find the people in the world who are trying to do the best for humanity, they're doing it under the name of what? God. He is a real thing because he is inspiring the resistance against the perversion of earth. And to sit here and say that God is not real, I understand your arguments. Yeah. The book is bullshit. He's not a person in the sky. Blah, blah, blah. I don't really think I'm very one dimensional. I'm not not in the the sky thing. I'm not really on that idea. I'd never thought that anyway. You need to think beyond that and understand that all the perversion, all the negativity on the planet is being resisted under the name of one person. Yeah. And if that person. The idea of God. If that idea, if that person. Is an idea, That's which is God. That is, then God exists. That is the best way anybody it. has ever put it towards me, by the way. Because when I've spoken to religious people in my past, I've spoken to people that are 70, yeah. 40, 78 years old, been on this planet longer than all of us. Yeah. Yeah. And they'll always give me the classic idea of the church and the God. And the, the it's not about that. It's stuff they read in the book. What you just said is a, is a very different concept that I've never heard, by the way. Look, I feel like we could be here. <sighs> wow. Wow. Thing. Wow. That was a great perspective it was refreshing uh to hear not your it wasn't argumentative it felt like a genuine positivity toward righteousness and the belief in something greater and bigger than yourself um yo shouts out that was super 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 awesome super awesome um yeah let me know in the comment section what do you think subscribe we got so much more coming have a good night